the teams then, Galatasaray against Pez United. It's John Champion here at the microphone, and alongside me we have a top football analyst in Jim Beckett. Well, I think we're very fortunate to be sitting here watching this one, John. I'm really looking forward to what should be a really exciting match. Buraki Ilmaz. Snyder. Here's a header. He parries it. Selchuk Inar has teed up this corner. Cleared by the defence. And it's out in top. That is wayward. He knows very well he can score from that distance. Not quite this time. Oh, this has been such a positive approach from them in the early part of this game. Everybody is programmed to get forward and despite a couple of failed attempts, they are the better side. that he must have thought it was going in. Such are the margins of success and failure in this game. That was so close. Snyder. Felipe Melo. He's looking to find his front men. Laid in accurately. Do well to retain the ball. Selchuk in R. Snyder. Good possession in this spell, but lacking any real penetration. Shoots here. Very nearly a goal. And that was more than a decent attempt. Perhaps it deserved better, too. Well, this has been an aggressive attacking start from them. They've been very much on the front foot, and if they maintain this pressure, it's looking very good for them. Snyder trying to keep hold of it, but it's hardly easy. No goals as yet from either team. Forward it goes. Selchuk in arm. It's Snyder. Burak Yilmaz. Too much on it. Well beaten to the ball there. Mello. Looking to receive the ball, break could be on. Trying to keep it in the face of strong opposition pressure. Selchuk in on. Felipe Mello. Places into the danger area. Can he put it away? Galatasaray with a goal. When you can produce a first touch that is as good as that, you're on a winner. And it was all done with consummate ease. That's just lovely to watch. A beautiful float. Get us underway at 1-0. Yeah, they may have got the lead, but that next goal now is absolutely crucial to the complexion of this one. He's on his way. Comes the shot. And it's a really well-taken goal. And 
how important might that be for Pez United? That really tested the strength of the net. Is it just me or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plump. So we resume with the scores back level. Oh, look, I love watching games like this when both teams are given everything they've got to try and win it. This is all the makings of a cracker. Oh, fine through ball down the middle. Looking to play on the break. is offside knocks it through to the front line Dorak Yilmaz it's Pandev Coming towards the last few minutes of this first half. Pandev! Not this time. Long way off that. That's a pretty powerful effort because he really got hold of that one, but he's not going to trouble the keeper from there. Melo, Burak Yilmaz, clever ball, through into space it goes. Intercepts the pass. There's the end to the first 45. The sides locked level at one goal each. Away we go then with the second half. Selchuk in up. He's looking to play it into the channel. Well played, that got them out of trouble. Looking to receive the ball, break could be on. Semikea. Selchuk in up. Borak Yilmaz. Back it goes. Hamid out in top. Gruba. Snyder. No, the defence alert and picked out the danger. The keeper's got it. Selchuk in our. Felipe Melo, Pandev, who we've just seen score that goal. Has United have possession again. He was well positioned, good defending there. On his head. That was a super ball in, but no success. And that all stems from great vision, you know, what a delightful little ball over the top that was. Out towards the byline. And that's not getting through. Semi Kea.
Oh, that's neat. They were so nearly punished for their mistake. I love to see a team closing down from the front like that, and I think they did brilliant to win it back and get the shot away. He wasn't far from finding the net again. Yeah, he's definitely a player who looks like he can make something happen every time he's on the ball. He's just full of belief and energy. Galatasaray still contemplating when to use their one remaining substitute. Hamid Altintop. Selçuk Inar. Tried to play it through. Galatasaray with a goal. Well, what can you say about that goal? It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier for Burak Yilmaz. They now lead by one goal. Through ball is intercepted. It's Hamid out in top. An interception. Knocks it over the top. Through ball over the top. Semi Kea. We're into the final quarter of an hour. Umut Bullet. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. Position posing a few questions, but he's able to intercept. Tries to slide it past the defence. Oh, he's missed it! Well, even the best players sometimes fail to deliver, but that ought to have been the equaliser. Great through ball over the top. Umut Bullard. Over the line for a throw-in. Something going on down at the bench. I think it's going to be a substitution. The clock counting down. Galatasaray only have to run down the clock now. <laughs> Selchuk Inar. Tops it upfield. Looking to play on the break. Yeah. Good bullet. Well, time is running out. They need to start pushing forward. It's all over. The referee's had enough. You can see what it means to the players coming out on top in what's been a very emotional, tightly contested battle. I think some of the players are going to be a bit sore after that. There was so much passion and commitment out there. I can't remember anyone shirking a tackle. So before we leave the stadium, there's just time for me to say my thanks to Jim for his analysis and to wish you a very good evening.